Hello everyone, it's Kelsey, and obviously I'm not where I usually film. I'm currently in Washington, D.C., hence the reason why I'm doing a travel makeup tutorial. Um, this is actually the exact makeup that I did on the plane on the way here, so it's super easy. All the products, whoop, all the products fit into one bag. This is my Play by Sephora bag for the month of January. It's super convenient and really simple, so let's get into the video. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so first I'm going to put on some chapstick. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. Because when you're traveling, your lips can get super duper dry. Then I'm going to take this Physician's Formula Rose Alt Day Oil Free Serum. I've been really liking this. and rub that in. Okay, then for travel, I think that this L'Oreal True Match Foundation is a really good travel foundation because it's like a cream formula and I just take my beauty blender and rub it in there. And then I just put it Then I just put it under my eyes. And if you're like, hey Kelsey, wait, um, how am I going to get a damp beauty blender if I'm traveling? So if you have a drink and it's perspirating on the sides, you can rub your beauty blender on that and get it like damp. Also, if you're on a plane, you can either ask for some water because they give you those like complimentary drinks and you can dip it in there and get it damp. Or you can ask for a cup of ice and rub the ice all around the beauty blender until it gets damp. I actually did that on the plane on the way here. <laughs> okay, so I put that under my eyes and anywhere where I kind of just want to lightly cover. And then just blend it all out. And this is not a full coverage foundation. I just think it's something light that can make you look good really quick on the go so if you're a full coverage person I really wouldn't recommend that foundation well I just found it very convenient for me while I'm traveling and one tip do not do not set this with a powder it turns out so bad if you set it with a powder it gets super cakey and just bad situation so next I'm going to take my butter bronzer in light bronzer, yeah, and my Bedellium Tools 964 brush and do a little bit of light bronzing. I just love the smell of butter bronzer so much. I'm currently house sitting in Washington DC. I'm house sitting two dogs and four cats, so if you hear any kind of crazy noise, that's them. Okay, now I'm going to take this blush from Makeup Forever. I got this in a Play by Sephora box, and I really like it, but it doesn't say the name. Like, it doesn't tell me which one this is. But I really like it, and I'll probably do a little bit more research. So when I run out of this, I can go buy another one. And I'm going to take my Bedellium Tools 944 brush. And pop just a little bit of that on my cheeks. Okay, then I'm going to take this Milani highlighter in the shade Strobe Light. Also, all of these products are from my everyday makeup drawer for the month of March. I will link that video in the description box below. Okay, now I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Auburn.
So I just like to be ready just in case. Not like full on glam makeup when you're traveling, but just some cute light makeup that doesn't make you look like you're dead, you know, from traveling and you're just tired. So just so you look fresh. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyeliner using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I love this so much. I got this in my December Play by Sephora box and it has lasted me until now. It's kind of starting to die on me and I'm going to go buy another one. But this is my favorite. If you've not tried this, please try it because you will love it. And it lasts you and it lasts for so long. And I've never been on, like, a commuter train before, but me and my mom went into Washington, D.C., and we used the trains, and we didn't get lost one time. I was so proud of us. They were really confusing, but we managed. It was really fun. Oh, okay, I forgot to tell you. I'm now using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. really been liking this mascara except for the fact that this one takes a little bit longer to dry down than most mascaras so you better not sneeze or do anything crazy with your eyes for about five minutes because it'll go everywhere um so next I'm going to set my makeup using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray I love this one the pump is getting a little harder to push down, I can tell, like as I've been using it, but then this one, well, I guess it's not really old. I've had this one since December. I got it on Christmas, so like the very end of December. When does this expire? Six months. So it should be good. Just the pump's getting really hard to push down. I don't know why. Okay. I always get worried with this mascara <laughs> if I'm gonna like open my eyes after I do my setting spray and it, the mascara is just like all under my eyes. Okay, then I'm going to use this Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in the shade 07 Super Strawberry. I really like this. It's not like bold. It's like a light pop of color. And it doubles as a um, lip balm because it's super moisturizing. So this is a definite travel companion. And I really like this shade. Okay, so that was my travel makeup tutorial. Or should I call it on the go makeup tutorial? Oh, I think I'm going to go with travel makeup tutorial. Okay, so that was it for my travel makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And go check out that video about my everyday makeup drawer for the month of March. I hope to see you all next time. Bye!